Hello viewers, welcome back to Mules of Tech Zone. This is Ravan Lingam. Uh, in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe uh, to get the latest updates whenever there is a video uploaded. This is like next part of how to become an Asian Blazer uh, innovator. Uh, we have completed two projects. One is like to create a prompt builder. This is like to create a test. So the uh, template type was case here. The template type was flex here. Now we are going to create a sales email prompt template in our uh, coming proje uh, project. Uh, before we uh, deep dive into this topic, I would uh, request everyone to go through the uh, instructions carefully. And also like if you feel our video is like too slow because we are going like step by step uh, explaining each and everything like how to do it. and if you feel like uh, it's too slow you can just uh, increase your playback speed or you can skip forward all right so uh, just as i said like uh, your einstein a playground is ready uh, please remember that i i feel like uh, the playground or the username will be active like for four days uh, but just check that whenever you are starting your uh, 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 you know the badge or the module please make sure that you are completing it within the timeline uh, just click on launch I'm not going to you know explain um, this little details here so I'm directly going to like sign up to the customer playground so this is done here this part is already done and uh, yep enable Einstein it's already enabled but I would like to double check uh, if that is enabled or not so go to quick find i think by now you should be you know uh, familiar with uh, the setup part i think it is already enabled but it's always good to have a double check so it's done we are good here so let me close this tab i don't want too many tabs this is good and the next thing we need to do einstein setup is done but to, we need to enable einstein for sales for that very simple Einstein for sales we have it here so click on that and turn on this part so that's it like uh, we are setting things up it usually takes few minutes but it can take up to an hour in the meantime you keep going to the next step and assign permission so let me refresh this so it's enabled it didn't took me like an hour of course but yeah that is done and uh, next thing is like create a connection between a guest event and a reservation that is what we are going to do so let's go let's follow the steps here steps one by one please carefully read the steps go to setup here close this move this tab to the left and go to object manager that is what they were asking us to do and in the quick find box search for guest event so let me copy this and go ahead and in my quick find here search for guest event and enter you you can see here there is a guest event object so then uh, click on the fields and relationships and let's add a new field okay so this is fields and relationships we have these fields by default for now activity type all this stuff if you see click on new field we are going to add a new field and the type is like lookup relationship so let's go here So we have like lookup relationship and external lookup relationship. We are going to use lookup relationship. Click on next here. If my my if my view is like the screen view is very small, you can just zoom it. Okay, and then related to select the external reservation. So we don't have a place to search it. So you have to go by alphabetical order and click on next external reservation and next 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 and save so that's what they are asking us to do so don't do anything keep it as is next 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 and next and now save it all right let's keep all the other values as default now that you can associate a reservation with a guest event create a new external reservation so from the sales app home screen click the external reservations tab so sales tab home screen click on external reservation so i don't know like if i was in sales app but in the app launcher type sales 
go to sales here and it says like you have external reservations tab this is the navigator here so click on that and uh, click on new so we are going to create a new external reservation click on new let's add all this. so select today's date for check-in date then five days later for the checkout date so check-in date is today so let's take like one two three four five checkout date is after five days and enter suit as the room type so s u i t e please make sure that you copy paste because that is used to verify your details click on save now i have a new external reservation with check-in dates for five so next associate the external reservation with a guest event so click on the guest events tab so where is guest events tab it is here this is our external reservation and we are going to append that okay guest events here then they are asking us to open like click on this guest event so currently you are seeing like recently viewed here go to all and you can see there is one guest event that is already created so edit it so they are asking us to edit it i i directly like clicked on this one you can also click on edit here by selecting but i can do this and i can click on edit now edit and edit the external reservation field and then select err 04 so let's see like where is extra so this is guest event and search for external reservation and search for err 04 there is one created here so we are what what we are doing we are appending we are associating the external reservation with the guest event click on save now your guest event is having the external reservation detail all right so this is done click on sale now fun part begins here click create the sales email prompt template so let me go here so go to setup move to the left side here for better use search for prompt it's already there in my suggestions so click on prompt builder and new prompt template now the type will be sales email so click on new prompt template so here in the first uh, project we have used case details in the second project we have used flex and now we are going to have we are going to use sales email all right so cool so just copy all the names as is what are there on the instructions welcome guest then automatically this will pop up it is there put your description so what you are trying to do here is that this template is used to craft a welcome email for the guest sent once they have checked in all right the recipient for the recipient make sure the contact is selected so recipient is contact already and let's see what is the related object it is a guest event the guest event is our related object so search for guest event it is here click on next it will pop up the prompt you know um, we have done this like couple of times now what we are going to do now is like to write clear instructions that describe what is needed from the llm the text entered for this prompt specifies the tone of the voice you know and the sender the contact information everything so let me copy first paste it in our prompt you can see like all these blue color highlighted ones are already being like covered in this particular uh, code so you don't usually what we have done in our previous modules is like click on like insert resources then choose your so here you can see like it is from the send, sender name sender phone sender email they are from sender object and recipient name is from the recipient resource so we have like three resources here sender receipt recipient and guest event all right so what we are doing is like i am a receptionist okay the person who is sending out an email is a receptionist for the resort and uh, my name is like so i will be sending my like telling my name my phone number and send us email a guest has just checked in and uh, we want them to send a welcome email so our tone should be like they were saying our instructions are like use clear concise and straightforward language using the active voice and strictly avoiding the use of filler words and phrases so just read all these uh, prompts in prompts in instructions so we are saying like first add this title then paragraph then about the breakfast and uh, wi-fi network i think there is something here probably we are going to add this let's see 
So for the model, select GPT-4 Omni Mini. So here we have, so far we had like auto populated, but here they are asking to only use, uh, I think open API GPT-4 Omni Mini. It's the same thing, GPT-4. Yeah, Omni Mini. Just see if we have any other like, oh no. So this is GPT-4 Omni. I'm not using open AI, but it's just like GPT-4 Omni Mini. So select the model. And then next what we need to do is we need to fill in these details. So there are some fields like check-in date here, all this stuff we need to pick it from our insert resource. I think here the instruction is more clear, like click on insert resource and choose the guest event and external reservation and check-in date. Let me do that. So check-in date, insert resource. This should be like super, uh, uh, fast now because we have done this couple of times so this is check-in date similarly it would be like insert guest event external reservation checkout date remember we added this external reservation check-in date and checkout and root type all this stuff we have added at the starting of our project so guest event external reservation and sweet if I'm not wrong or oopsie I'm overconfident here. Let's see what is there for room type. This is like room type. Suite is the number, you know, the value that we have provided. Good, we have done this part. So this is how it's saying like, it looks like that's what we have done here. So cool. Now and then they are asking us to click on save. We have done. Next preview, it is very simple. Now uh, we have done this again like before so search for Sophia as our recipient and the guest uh, is like GE let me let us search we have the guest event remember we have associated this guest event with an external guest let's see click on preview so you know what happens when we click on preview it will show like how the prompt has been resolved all those like you know um, this one right so what we have done is like we have uh, written a prompt and this will show you like how it was resolved with all those details all right you can see uh, my name is your name is like mules of tech zone with phone number pro phone number is not provided so it's not present and email id is there and guest has checked in so you wanted to so you have everything here all right and this is how the email has been created so you can see the tone the voice and all the instructions were followed so welcome to coral cloud and uh, we told like everything should be in the passive active voice and strictly avoiding use the filter of words. So it's very simple. Welcome, we are pleased to have you as a guest. Your reservation is from July 18th to 23rd. That's what we have initially uh, uh, provided the check-in dates and check-out dates in a suite. So like this is the guest type, room type, okay? We hope your stay is comfortable and enjoyable and breakfast is available daily from so and so date and for your convenience the Wi-Fi network is this one. So best records your name this one and phone number is not present because our contact is not updated with the phone number. All right. So this is super cool. So this is what it shows right. This is what it's saying. So after the previous generated review the resolution and the response in the prop builder it looks like this. So super cool next step verification let's say sophia has just checked in and and should receive a welcome guest email so what we have to do is go to now what we need to do yeah so go to the app launcher click on contacts there are many things it's contacts not contracts or content so contacts and then go to sophia so my contacts are we going to so they are asking to click on list view so i will click on list view here and search for sophia here and uh, in the activity section click the arrow next to the email so this is our activity section here and click on the arrow here okay and what we need to do is select the sophia's email address in the email drafts up here like draft with the instance so drop down click on sophia's email address then draft with einstein okay and update pre-instructions so this is what you need to do you need to select from the standards let's see what they were asking us to do select so 
uh, welcome guest right so that's what we have created our prompt template so let's see is it like check-in why is it not populated here draft with Einstein the pre by select welcome guest template that you just created so here let me search for welcome guest it is not created so what I will do is let me go back here let me go to prompt builder again uh, let's see if it was created because it should have been created welcome guest so it is here and it is inactive I'm not sure if I missed any step here, whether to act. Oh, see, this step was missed. That's why it is not showing in my pop-up. So these mistakes can happen. So very simple, go to welcome guest here. So click on activate. Okay, it is activated now. Now if I search for this, it should come. So welcome, no, probably we can refresh it again. So these are the small mistakes that we might see. So don't worry, Dramped with Einstein, uh, probably it might take some time or something. Let's see, uh, it should be activated by now. Let me refresh it again and see if which status it is. So if I go back to Chrome Builder, this is an active state. Okay, let's see. So what I'll do is I will go to contacts again go to Sophia, close this tab, select Sophia's email address, draft with Einstein and I got our custom template here. So you might see this issue but try to refresh or you know try to try to check the status of your prompt builder. So cool, so let me go to welcome guest here, choose your guest event, that's what I don't want to be overconfident here. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Then continue, done and send. So continue. So it's analyzing your e email, your prompt, okay? So this is created, dear Sophia, blah, 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 your this, this, this. So this is we have already seen in our prompt template. So you can provide your phone number if you like, click on done and send it. So you can see uh, Sophia has received a email. Right. So they received once they have checked in. So this is super cool. And our fun part is verify to uh, verify the step. So this is super cool. I love playing out with these modules and the projects. So the step by step, the way they have artic articulated has been like very cool. Ooh. It's done, so written to the trail. So they, they have well architect, uh, you know, the the modules they have uh, provided here, they are, they are well articulated. So done, so again, like sh if you click on show completed, there are some modules that you need to like read and uh, fill in those quiz. So I have done that part in my previous uh, other account, but uh, you need to read everything like this. And if you have completed all this stuff, you can see there is something like this, create prompt, blah, 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 blah. And you can take take the challenge here and uh, you can click on like create playground and this stuff. So if you have done this, I have already done this. So I'm like marking as complete. So it says like you have not completed this super bad gel. So we will see like how to do that for each of this step. All right. So let's see what needs to be done in the prompt builder template super batch unit. Uh, see you in the next video.